Chinese state-owned automaker GAC claims to be on the precipice of entering the U.S. market. GAC revealed three new vehicles under its Trump Kia brand this week at the Detroit Auto Show, all of which hit upon current U.S. trends. Those trends just so happened to be big in China as well, the company also announced its intentions to build a research and development facility somewhere in North America, with full details promised in the next few months. Few months, Chinese state-owned automaker GAC claims to be on the precipice of entering the U.S. market. GAC revealed three new vehicles under its Trump Kia brand this week at the Detroit Auto Show, all of which hit upon current U.S. trends. Those trends just so happened to be big in China as well, the company also announced its intentions to build a research and development facility somewhere in North America, with full details promised in the next few months. Chinese state-owned automaker GAC claims to be on the precipice of entering the U.S. market. GAC revealed three new vehicles under its Trump Kia brand this week at the Detroit Auto Show, all of which hit upon current U.S. trends. Those trends just so happened to be big in China as well, the company also announced its intentions to build a research and development facility somewhere in North America, with full details promised in the next few months. Months, Chinese state-owned automaker GAC claims to be on the precipice of entering the U.S. market. GAC revealed three new vehicles under its Trump Kia brand this week at the Detroit Auto Show, all of which hit upon current U.S. trends. Those trends just so happened to be big in China as well, the company also announced its intentions to build a research and development facility somewhere in North America, with full details promised in the next few months. Few months, 